This review has been made possible by Toyota of Naperville. As you know, Toyota has tons of brand new Toyotas available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to toyotaofnaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2008 Mazda 5. Up front is a 2.3 liter inline four and down below is a five speed automatic transmission. And I am excited to be driving the Mazda 5 today because I actually recently drove a facelifted 2014 Mazda 5. And so this is the slightly older version and I wanna see how it stacks up to its younger sibling. But let's get back to that 2.3 liter inline four. While this is the same motor you would find in the same year Mazda 3, I actually recently drove one of those as well. It's a pretty basic motor. It's pretty much a Duratec motor, which is a Ford motor for all you Ford fans out there. It makes okay power. I'll put it up on the screen, horsepower and torque. You know, it's okay. You have to remember this is a minivan. As well as I will put the fuel economy up, the kilometers per liter for you foreign viewers will be up at the very top of the screen as well. But I really like the response of the 2.3 liter. I think it actually has a little bit of a pep in its step. It's not going to blow the doors off of a supercar, but it's not slow either. And I really, really like that. I'm feeling the back straightaway today. I don't know why. Um, I don't see any type of sport mode. I can shift it myself. Not gonna. It's not fast, but it's definitely, it's quick and it feels very agile. As I come into these corners here, I'll sort of get a little aggressive here coming on in. It actually, it doesn't understeer as bad as you think it would. And that only noise was my, my tripod falling over for my camera, it wasn't the actual car. But like, we'll get into the twisties here. Like it's actually handling really, really well for a minivan. This is fun to drive. It is. I, I, I don't know what it is about the car. I think it's really the suspension setup. It, it, it handles really, really nice. Like I said, paired to it is an automatic transmission, nothing really too crazy. However, you could have gotten one of these with a manual transmission. So if that is something you would like to seek out, you can absolutely do so. And last but not least, of course, the Mazda 5 is front wheel drive. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have three main gauge pods. On the left is my tachometer. In the center is my speedometer, as well as my odometer. And on the right is my coolant temperature and fuel. They're recessed pretty far into the dash. They are light up and I like them. They do sort of remind me of the RX-8 ever so slightly. On the steering wheel on the right, I have my cruise control options. And on the left, I have my volume, track change, mode and mute. So left of me, I have four completely dead switches, which really, really annoys me because this is the touring edition of the Mazda 5. It's not the grand touring. It's not the top of the line but it's pretty high up there in terms of trim levels, and I still have these dead, dead switches. On the door, I have my power mirrors, power locks, and power windows, nothing really too crazy there. And then coming into the center, this is the era before screens, before screens became popular. And so up at the top, I do have my clock and my air conditioning in a little digital readout. Then I have my settings for the clock, very, very prominent here, as well as the hazard switches. Then I have the radio itself. I do have AM, FM, satellite, CD, and media. We do have an aux input. We'll talk about that a little bit later on, but I do have disc, you know, my favorites. It's called the multi-function audio system, which means it plays music, not really that crazy. Then I have my air conditioning controls below that. They're very symmetrical. They have a little bit of tactile feedback, not as much as I would like. They feel a little bit numb and the actual knob itself feels pretty cheap. It feels like cheap plastic. I would break if I looked at it weird. At the very bottom, we do have recirculating defroster rear and ambient. Then we have the shifter itself. The shifter itself is actually sort of up on the dash. It's angled in an interesting way. However, it feels very natural. It is what it is. It looks good. The plastic hasn't really held up too great over the last 12 years. But then again, you know, I have a 2019 Mazda 3 and I'm already starting to get a couple scratches in my plastics. So maybe it's just a Mazda plastic thing. Then I have a very awkward size cubby hole. I don't think you could really put anything in there. Then I have my aux in and my 12 volt outlet. 
Like I said, we would talk about it later. This is where you actually aux in, and I really, really like that, because then you can keep your phone in the cup holder. You don't have to have an eight foot aux cord in order to reach the spot. Very convenient there. Speaking of the cup holders, I do have two cup holders down below. Then a little storage bin that has no lid, so you're not gonna be concealing anything in this bad boy. Then a physical parking brake. And the seats, the seats are cloth. They're pretty comfortable. They're not the most comfortable in the world. They're not, you know, massaging, but they're nice. However, they are not power. Something in the touring model I wish I would have gotten was power seats. But speaking of seats, of course, this is a minivan, so let's do some back seat reviews. All right, so we're in the back of the 2008 Mazda 5, and already the second row is pretty cramped. I'm sitting up pretty straight. Let me see if I have adjustments. Oh yeah, I could switch it to that. A little bit more comfortable. The seats are a little bit hard. Leg room isn't great. But as you can see down here, this seat actually does fold down. I have my own air conditioning options down here. It says up above cool air, low, high, or off. That's really it. Power windows, but not power doors. So these are manual sliding doors. It is what it is now. I'll do the third row. All right, so I'm smushed in the, the third row here. It's not good. I can't even fit both my legs behind the seats. These are really for children. Children, children, children. Um, if you have young kids, this will be fine. This will be great. Me, a 23-year-old adult, not so much. I'm 5'11", and I'm really struggling in a lot of different ways, but also in the back seat here. And just for reference, the later generation of the Mazda 5, the 2014, the back seats were not any better. Just a heads up, if you were like, oh, I'll just get the newer one, it's the same story. So save yourself some time, but go check out that video as well. I'll leave it at the end of the video of the later generation Mazda 5. There are some big differences. Around the back of the Mazda 5, there it is. That's it. Oh, I do get a power outlet. That is nice. Now we gotta talk about the look. This is right before Mazda's smiley generation of vehicles. And so I actually sort of like the look of this Mazda 5 a little bit better than the second gen. And you could see a very, very clear sort of transition from the MPV to the Mazda 5. This is the first generation of the Mazda 5, which used to be called the Mazda MPV. And so I'll show an older generation Mazda MPV, this and then the later Mazda 5, you could see sort of a natural progression. And I like that in a car. I, I like knowing the generation sort of moved into one another. I don't like these drastic changes. But overall, I really, really enjoy driving this Mazda 5. I don't know what it is. I think it's really the suspension. I'm really chucking it into these corners and it's holding up. Does it make great power? No, but It's fun, I'm having fun, this is fun. And honestly, for a people mover, it doesn't get more fun than this, it really doesn't. I'm going on record as saying, the Mazda 5 is the most fun minivan you can buy. That's it, I have yet to drive a more fun minivan. If you guys know of a more fun minivan, please leave it in the comment section down below. Be interested to hear your thoughts on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Toyota of Naperville for letting me take out their Mazda 5. I've now driven both Mazda 5s from Toyota. They are on the lot right now. You can go pick them up. As well as browse, Toyota's website is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. They have hundreds of used cars all the time, all makes, models, colors, engines, transmissions. They have a couple manual cars, but definitely go check them out. They are absolutely awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe. We really like to take care, guys.